everyone, it's Camilla Carter, your Startle Coach. Today I wanted to talk to you about agents and managers. Basically, agents and managers are the people that represent actors, models, singers, dancers. But let's stick with actors and models for now. An agent is different than a manager in a few ways. So I want to teach you what the difference is. First of all, no agent or manager ever takes any money up front. No legitimate agent or manager ever takes any money up front. If they're taking money up front, you should run. It means they're not a legitimate agent or manager. Agents and managers both work on commission, which means they get paid when their client gets a job. So they're submitting their clients for all kinds of jobs. And if the client books the job, then the agent or manager takes a percentage. So let's first talk about what an agent does. An agent submits their clients for work. They try to procure work for their clients. Agents can also negotiate contracts. Agents are more result oriented. They're more focused on the short term or of getting and procuring work. Managers, on the other hand, have more of a longer vision of a person's career. Managers are more like somebody who's going to hold your hand. Agents are not. Managers are going to help you pick photos. They're going to help you get an agent. Managers guide the long-term career. They like to help you pick the pictures that you're going to use. They like to help you get an agent. They also have or should have a lot of industry contacts so that they can make introductions. A manager is not really allowed to negotiate a contract. That's more for an agent or a lawyer. When the industry started to change, a lot of agents became managers. And one of the reasons that they did this was because managers can produce. An agent can't be a producer. So if, as a producer, the manager was able to what's called package. They could put a bunch of clients in a film or TV project and they could be a producer on it. So agents cannot produce, managers can produce. Agents submit their clients through the breakdowns. Managers are not really supposed to submit their clients to the breakdowns, but a lot do. Now, an agent takes 10% commission. A manager takes 15%. Agents are regulated by the state. There's a lot of laws and rules that they have to follow, and they have to be licensed and bonded by the state. And it's usually a $50,000 bond a year. There are less rules for managers. Managers don't have to be licensed and bonded by the state, but there still are laws in effect. And if agents or managers break any of these laws, they're usually shut down very quickly. Nobody wants to mess around with that kind of thing. Commercial agents take 10%. Theatrical agents, which is film and TV, take 10%. Sometimes when a kid is starting out and they get an agent, the agent likes to take 15%. That's not unheard of. Managers take 15%. Anything more than that, that's not a standard contract. Now, print agents take 20%. And you may ask, hmm, why do they take more for print modeling? Well, in commercials, you get residuals. So you're constantly getting money coming in after you've booked a job. A print job is different. For a print job, you get paid what's called a buyout. It means you get paid once. So if you think of it like a pie, for print, you only get one pie. And that's why the agent takes the bigger slice of 20%. Whereas with film and television commercials, the residuals allow for lots of pies coming in. So that's the difference in the percentages. When you go to look for an agent and a manager, it's really important to feel good about that agent or manager. Just like we like certain people and certain people we don't gravitate towards, it's the same with an agent or manager. Certain people are a better fit than others. So don't be in a rush to just get the first agent that you meet with that says yes. 
it's okay to look around or to meet with several agents at a time. You want this to be a good partnership. And basically, you want an agent or a manager who sees potential in you and who really gets you and is excited to work with you. And you will sign a contract with an agent or a manager. Agents typically start with a one-year contract. That's standard. Whereas managers, they like to start with a three-year contract. Sometimes it's even five. Make sure you read your contract thoroughly before you sign it. I say, take it home, read over it before you actually sign it. Give yourself 24 hours, but always have somebody also read the contract. If an agent or manager wants to sign you, make sure you read the contract very carefully. Know what you're signing, that's really important. Do you need an agent or manager to get a job? It helps to have an agent or manager to get a job, and it helps to have an agent or manager to get the best jobs. But when starting out, a lot of times a kid or an actor doesn't have an agent. And kids can meet casting directors, and those casting directors can book a kid for a job. Here's something to be cautious of. A lot of times when an actor gets an agent, they just sit back and wait for the phone to ring. But you have to think of it like this. An agent is taking a 10% commission, so they're responsible for, say, 10% of the work, and you're responsible for the 90% other, which means it's great to stay proactive. It's great to network and create relationships and maintain those relationships. So don't just sit back and wait for your agent to do it all. Make sure that you're out there creating opportunities for yourself and meeting people. Don't get lazy. The more you understand how the business works, the easier it is for you to navigate it and make smart decisions. It also makes you a person that other people want to work with because you have an understanding of how the business works. Here's something else that I can't tell you how important it is in the entertainment industry, which is to follow directions. That's even true for you as a parent when you're submitting your child to agents or managers, when you're getting information from your agent or manager about an audition, what to wear, where to go, all of those things. A lot of times I'll send out an email to people and what I get back is not what I asked for at all. They weren't following directions. And I don't know if it's that they didn't read the email the whole way through or they just glanced at it. And I know everyone's busy, but if they don't follow the directions and I have to get back on the computer, send another email and hope that when they send me the information this time that it's correct. It's just a lot of wasted time and energy. More than any other business, Following directions is so important in the entertainment industry. So what I say is, read everything all the way through, read it again, and then put together your email or put together the materials, and then double check that you got everything right or you got everything that was asked for. And then after you put everything together, just go ahead and double check that you did everything correctly. So how cute is this kitty? Pretty cute. <laughs> Hold him down. So when you get an agent, a lot of times they ask if you have a pet, because a lot of times for commercials, they like to use a pet. So always write down, check the box whether you have a pet. <laughs> Sometimes your pet can help you get some work. And a lot of times for commercials, they're looking for families, real authentic families. Whenever you go in for a meeting with an agent or manager, or when you go into an audition, remember, turn your cell phone off. Put it on silent. Don't forget. Let's review some of the differences between an agent and a manager. 